You heard me right, Zack. I need you to eat this hair. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Zack, in order for me to pass on one for all, I need you to eat this hair. Uh, you're you're joking, right? Totally, you, 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 mm -hmm, totally, right, guys? <laughs> he, he he has to be joking. Kid, I I don't think he's joking. What do you mean he has to be joking? He, he can't be dying. He's the number one hero. Come on, he, he can't die, <laughs> right? And no, come on, that hair joke and the, and the um, passing on thing? No, that's impossible, right? Zack, the man is on his deathbed. I I don't think he would be joking about something this serious, alright? But... Zack, I have to agree with Nathan on this one. Personally, I've been a friend of Zuku's for years, alright? I know that he's telling the truth, and I know that no matter whether I like it or not, that is how you pass on one for all. And whether or not I think you're a right fit, I think... I think he's right. You have to do it. Not just because I think you're a right fit, far from it, but I think you should do it because... If you don't, one for all will be lost to history. But I still barely know what one for all even is! That's not the point! Oh really, then what is the point? Tell me, I would love to know! Why well, you ungrateful piece of sh- Both- Both of you, stop! I don't- <coughs> I don't have much time. Zack, please, just hear me out. Come uh, here for a second. Okay, but I think I should just let you know, Mr. Deku. As much as I don't want to agree with Dan on this one, Mr. Deku, I, I think he's right. Uh, I'm a bad choice. I don't know if I can do this. I don't think you can handle this much responsibility. Y yeah. How did you... <laughs> don't worry, kid. I went through the exact same thing. Um, Zuku, I don't think you should be... Look, Dan, I can handle myself, alright? Might be dying, but I have a little bit of strength left. No, Zack, listen to me. No, I think you should listen to me, Mr. Midoriya. I don't think I can do this. Like, personally, I think I'm like the least qualified person to do this, alright? And I still barely know what one for all even is. And also, look, there's two perfect candidates right there, like my brother Nate, which is, um, I'm not sure, uh, you know, he's still kind of weird. Or you pick Dan, look at Dan, you, you've known him for years, you can probably trust him with his weird task. And come on, all I'm just an overhyped fanboy, like, I, I don't even know how to- Zack, do you remember the first thing you told me when we first met? And not even to mention- wait, what? I said- do you remember the first thing you told me when we first met, back at the railroad track? Yeah, of course. I was venting to you about, you know, how I didn't get into Minopolis, and then, you know, you, you said that you would help me, and you just got done, you know, fighting a villain, and... Yes, Zach. That is what you heard. But do you want to hear what I heard from that conversation? Wait, what do you... What do you mean? Well, Zack, when we first met, what I heard... <laughs> what I heard... Was the voice of an inspiring young man. A young man who more than anything wanted to become a hero. But just not any type of hero. But the kind of hero that everyone can rely on. Who can save everyone. And who will save everyone. The type of hero that when people see... They can see their fearless smile and know everything will be okay. You see, Zack, in you, I see the spirit of a hero. Mr. Deku. And yeah, I know that you're rash, you're very immature, and you don't make good decisions, and you don't have much experience with being a hero. 
but I feel with given the time, the patience, and the training, I believe, Zack, that you too can become a hero. Mr. Deku. Now, Zack, let me ask you again. Do you think you can become a hero? Yes. Yes! Yes, I can! Now that's the type of, you know, spirit I like to see, Zack. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Eat this hair. Say... Why not? Again, Zack, I don't really blame you, because again, I went through the, literally the exact same, you know, conundrum with my, you know, master, so... But, okay, so basically how this works is basically to transfer one for all, you need to consume a piss of my DNA. And, well, hair is kind of the best DNA to consume, so... <sighs> know what? I'll... I'll do it! Wait... Really? Yeah, Mr. Midoriya. I'll do it. Now give me that hair! Alrighty. And I'm doing this because... You're right, Mr. Deku. To become a hero, I need to take my chances. And this is my chance. And you're right. I do plan on saving everyone. Even if it does start with eating this hair. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Holy shit, he actually did it. Yeah, he did. And now, it's time for him to go. Wait, what do you... Alright, Mr. Deku, I ate the hair. Uh, uh, is something, like, supposed to happen? Uh, am I supposed to be feeling something? Or, uh... Mr. Deku, wait, where did you, where did you go? I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise, say all the words out of my mind, about who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe, I can't get it right, remember the days I let slip away, it was simpler times. Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I'll bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing, dancing So that's all you know, huh? Sadly, yeah, kid. And as much as I would like to help you, uh, your guess is good as mine on how One For All works. All I know is what Izuka told me in the past, that, you know, One For All is a quirk passed on from generation to generation. And that, you know, it can give its user, you know, certain quirks from its previous users. But when it comes to how to use those quirks, I... I don't know. But don't worry, kid. I have faith that, that eventually we'll figure out- wait, hold up. Oh, oh shit. Holy shit, dude, uh, I, I think we're running late for class, come on. I'm sorry to halt our little discussion right here, Zach, but we're gonna have to push this to after class. Just come by my desk after, you know, the period is over, alright? Uh, alright, okay, let's go. Alright, but again, remember to be careful today, Zach. Wait, hold up. Are you guys actually gonna go back today? Wait, what? Yeah, like, isn't it kind of dangerous to go back there literally after you guys almost got killed by literally the principal of the school? Well, yeah, obviously it's dangerous, but we have to do it, Nathan, right? Not just because Zack's enrolled in the school and, you know, it's the only chance of being a hero. And it's not just because, you know, it's my job. 
but it's because we have to find out more information about Project Villain, alright? And being at that school and being enrolled and, you know, being, you know, a literal teacher there gives us an advantage. And, well, we have to go back today to, you know, find out what, what the damages are. And yes, I understand your concerns over, you know, whether it's, you know, dangerous or not, because, again, is, you know, Zack is your brother, I'm Okay, I'm not gonna go into this again, but you know, yeah, even though Zach's your brother, we have to do this, alright? And plus anyways, if the principal really wanted his dead, we would already be so, alright? The man has jurisdiction over all hero agencies in, in the area. <sighs> I guess you're right. That privileged asshole does have a lot of power, so if he really did want his dead, he would already, well, do so. But, fine, uh, I'll let you guys go, but just... Uh, promise me this. Just keep Zack safe, alright? Nate! Listen, Zack. Uh, I trust you, alright? I know that you'll s try to stay safe, but him? Not quite sure. Mostly after, well, last time. I, I guess you're right. <sighs> Look, Nathan. I, 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 again, I understand your concerns over Zack, but trust me. Last time was completely out of my control. I had no, you know, say in anything, alright? But trust me, this time, I will keep him safe. And now, you can even have more trust in me. Mostly considering now I have to, you know, put extra care in him. Because, well, now he's carrying the most powerful and most important quirk in the world, alright? I will do everything in my ability to protect him. Hmm. Again, trust me. You have my word. Alright, Zach, so we're running a bit late to class, alright? So just make the, you know, quick trip here to locker, you know, go all quick. And then I'll see you in class, alright? Oh yeah, and remember not to get into any trouble, alright? We're still trying to lay on the down low. Alright. Alright, again, remember, Zach, don't be suspicious, alright? Just uh, try to act cool, don't try to, you know, do anything weird. And let's just try not to piss anybody off today, mostly because uh, I, I might or might not be a wanted criminal now. I, I'm not sure, but uh, I don't think I want to find out. Alright, so anyways, okay, I gotta get my Quirk Civics book, I gotta get my Math book, English, alright? Okay, I'll put it away, my Science one, since I don't think we'll do that today, okay? Got it. Look who decided to show up to school today. Ah, God damn it, not this motherfucker again. Okay, it's way too early for this. I'm guessing you're talking about me, huh? Ding ding ding, look who got it right. Was that supposed to be funny? <laughs> I don't think you want to be messing with me today, Zach. Well, mostly after you, well, blew me off yesterday. You know, remember the fight? Wait, fight? Wait, um... Oh shit, the fo- oh, oh shit, I almost forgot! Wait, hold up! You forgot?! Oh, yeah, obviously, I was just dealing with a lot yesterday. Dealing with a lot? How could you possibly be dealing with a lot? We have the same class! We I know you didn't get any homework. So tell me, smart guy, what's your excuse? Not dealing with a lot- Dude, you don't know half of it! Yesterday I almost got attacked by- I mean... Uh... I mean, I didn't fight you because you're a pussy! Yep, yeah, mm -hmm, because you're a pussy, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, yep, I'm gonna kill this kid. Holy sure, okay, um, when did you take off your shirt? Um, wait, hold up, aren't we annoying to high school? Wait, we're freshmen, what the fuck? How- Like, I'm not weird, but those are abs, what the fuck? Like, dude, if the, you know, entrance exam was a fist a fist fight, you hands out a one, holy shit. Yeah, I know. That's why I have to beat you right here, right now, so I can prove my dominance. And show everyone I'm better than you. Oh, trust me, I can tell them myself if you want. Like, honestly, okay, can we cut some kind of deal right now? Because I really just don't feel like dying right now, you know, because I almost died yesterday, so... Trust me, Zach, no one's gonna save you this time. Oh, I guess Dan's right. For a person with no mouth, I really do have a big mouth. For God's sakes, John, just put on your shirt and let's get back to class. Ooh, thank you so much, you great goddess. I was about to fucking die. Aw, oh, come on. I was about to. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, bud. I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say they know each other. No, I'm serious. I, I was just getting something from my locker. 
Mm hmm. And that's why there's a terrified kid behind you. Oh, yeah, by the way, hot gray girl. Um, we're actually the same age. I just look, you know, very terrified in the corner because I was shitting myself looking at his abs. Watch it, Zach. That's my girlfriend. By girlfriend, you mean girl with low standards. Hayes, would it make you feel any better if I said, you know, can I please kill him? Hmm, my god, you act like a fucking child. I'm gonna tell you that's both a yes and a no, which also means it's a yes. Uh, did that just happen? Did, did he just poof into thin air? Oh my god, he does this every Tuesday. I am so confused. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, Zach, was it? Uh, I'm sorry that my boyfriend kind of just, you know, went all rapid on you. Uh, he does it every Tuesday, so I just teleported him to the, you know, classroom. But anyways, uh, I gotta go, I gotta get to class, and I'll, I'll see you there. Still so much confusion. Oh yeah, and also, by the way, um, you called me Hot Grey Girl earlier, I just wanted to let you know my name was Hazel, or I just did try to not, you know, let that happen again. Mostly with John, because he gets kind of jealous. Anyways, uh, again, I'll see you in class. Okay. Even though we live in a world where superpowers exist, why do I have a feeling that things are um, about to get weirder and weirder?